Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I'm back to talk about what we've been waiting for for so long, the Atlas Passive Skill Tree. We have all of the information that's coming in 3.17 Siege of the Atlas uh, and I'm going to talk about a bunch of stuff that I really like about this tree. We're going to go through it and we're going to talk about a couple of potential starting trees uh, and potentially my starting tree as well but this is very much subject to change because we got this about half an hour ago maybe. So let's just get right into it. In Siege of the Atlas, as you may know, all of the zones and the Atlas areas themselves are getting removed. And so that means that all of our small Atlas passive skill trees on actual zones are getting removed as well. And we are getting a massive Atlas skill tree just like this. Up the top, you can see 128 points. That is the total number of points that you can generate. There's 117 maps, and for every map that you complete, I think the bonus completion of the map, you get one skill point. So first map you complete, right here. Second, third, fourth. Meaning that by your fourth map completion, you can put an additional essence in every single map you run. That's so strong. And there's a bunch of stuff like that around here as well. Additional strong box, uh, chance to gain additional Jun missions, Alva missions, etc., etc. Uh, and it only gets better the further you go up. Now, it does look pretty daunting. It looks extremely daunting, but there's a couple of really handy things that you can use. The search bar, I can do something like this. Alva, uh, if I search for Alva, I can then just see anything that talks about Alva right here. Or another thing that I can do, say for example, this is an Alva or an incursion node right here. Thanks for that. Uh, thanks Atlas for the sub. Passives. It's time. <laughs> it's time. I did forget to turn off my uh, alerts, but uh, we'll keep going. Incursion, you can click on the incursion button and you can see all of the other incursion uh, things around. Now, it's a little bit annoying. It doesn't actually stay uh, when you click on it. If you move your mouse off it, it uh, changes where they are or it, it puts them back down. But you can see, oh, so you can basically, you know, you can go all the way up here. You can pick up all these incursion nodes, pick up these ones and then pick up this one here and pick up here. Even when you hover over it, it will show you all of the essence, all of the metamorph. It's really, really handy. Uh, on the main part of Exile page, all the links are gonna be down below by the way, but on the main part of Exile page as well, uh, we also have all of the nodes that you can just go through and you can have a look at all of this, all of the Abyss. They've got it in order, a bunch of like Abyss stuff like this. Uh, but so it's a very, very, very big post. So, but you, you know, once again, you can search Alva if you'd like to. You can go through this way if you want to as well on the main page. A very, very strong way of doing it. Now, for myself, I'm really going to be focusing on endgame bosses. So I've quickly outlined a, well, it is a about an 80-point tree right here. So it's 80 map completion, which is, you know, two-thirds of the maps that are coming to the Atlas. However, um, you know, it's going to pretty much go in the order like this. And this is endgame farming right here. But the early stage is basically going to be taking what I think is the best early node, the Essence node, coming through, getting some Alva stuff, um, and then picking up some uh, shaping of the mountains for extra map drops, some more Essence, uh, and then picking up these Kirak nodes right here for more map drops, some big map nodes right here of uh, shaping the valleys and shaping the seas. These are really strong, by the way. 10% uh, quantity, rarity, and pack size. Uh, of uh, items found in areas when uh, you use Fortune Favors the Brave, which is a map device mod. Uh, I think it costs three chaos. You run that and you get a bunch more maps and items dropped uh, back through there. Picking up essences and uh, incursion stuff, because I really like incursion. And then coming up more essences and then starting to go into the end game boss farming. So this is like my early potential tree that I would go for. But as you can see, even with, you know, 80 points done, you do miss out on a lot, so there's going to be a lot of respecking. Now that is the downside of this. To respec the Atlas Passive Tree, you are going to need uh, Orbs of Unmaking. Now Orbs of Unmaking, before this point, would just reset nodes of the Atlas Tree, um, that small Atlas Trees that we would get on our Atlas, but this time around they're respecking the whole tree. However, they're making them a lot easier to get. They're going to be about 10 times more likely to drop on the ground, and you can also purchase these for two regret orbs, I think from Kirak. Maybe uh, check me on that one, but I think from Kirak. However, this does mean that the more casual players that don't have a lot of time to play are still gonna struggle respecking this tree. Over the next coming days, I'm hopefully gonna be outlining uh, a few Atlas passive trees 
that, uh, you know, if you want to farm specific things, you can choose that Atlas Passive Tree, and then you can basically just have that as a solid Atlas Passive Tree as you grind through the Atlas. There's a bunch of really good ones. Um, one that I really like uh, is, hang on, let me just uh, jump back to the other Atlas Passive so I don't uh, get rid of this one right here. There's another very easy one right here, which is um, talking about, well, you can get the map stuff right here. Any of this map stuff for early league for your first character, pick these up. Any of these that you come by, definitely pick them up because they're going to help you so much by generating a, a ton more uh, maps in all of your zones. But the Abyss stuff is something that I think is going to be really strong as well and a little bit of a sleeper. So coming up through here, picking up all of these nodes, Abyss is very, very strong because I'll show you the last node that we'll pick up after this point. And it's actually relatively cheap to get here. So it's just right up here into this one. Abyss jewels found in areas have a 20% chance to be corrupted and have five or six random modifiers. Now the five or six modifiers, as we know, Abyss jewels can only hold four modifiers. Putting that up to five or six is going to be really strong. Anyone who's running a minion build uh, or Darkness Enthroned, the belt where you can socket two jewels into it, this node is going to be crazy to generate lots of early currency if you find uh, like three mod crit multi with some life or something like that or or you know a bunch of flat. It's going to be extremely strong to find what you want uh, and, and sell them and get a bunch of currency on Trade League if you want right there. So, you know, a very small little uh, abyss plus map farming right there, and then you could, you know, easily jump into the middle here if you want to and pick these nodes up uh, for all of the map stuff right here as well. So you can just, a couple of points, jump all the way through here and pick up these ones as well for really, really easy uh, map completion. This is another really strong league starting option that I would say. Apart from that, play around yourself. I'm gonna be including everything down below that you can use to play around, but that's all I really have to say. Let me know what you're gonna be farming. Uh, you know, come by stream twitch.tv slash thisisbadger and show me your Atlas passive skill trees. I'll see uh, the uh, big brain plays that everyone is uh, gonna be bringing to this Atlas passive tree. As I'm uploading this like half an hour or an hour after the news actually came through, there's going to be so much more that we discover with really cool pathing options and really cool combinations of all of the nodes. Uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember to hit the sub button. And uh, until next time, Badger is out.